Hey friends, I'm super excited today because I finally got my first 3D printer. And in this video, I will unbox and set up my Bamboo Lab P1S with the AMS unit. I will also be printing my very first model, Benchy the Boat, which is like the Hello World equivalent in 3D printing. I can't wait to share my thoughts with you on the printer and what you can expect if you decide to get one yourself. So I've always loved tech gadgets, but I wasn't really into 3D printing until now. A few years ago, during my architectural class, we had to print models and it was a total disaster. The prints came out looking rough, thick layer lines and stringing everywhere. No one really knew how to fix it, so I thought that was just how 3D printing was. But then I started watching some cool 3D printing videos on the YouTube and was blown away by how detailed some of those prints are, especially from the recent printers. I've always wanted to create props and cosplay from my favorite video games like Elden Ring. It'd be a dream to wear armor like the Tree Sentinel. And I realized a 3D printer could help me make those awesome pieces. After doing some research, I decided to go for the Bamboo Lab P1S and the AMS unit because I heard it was super easy to set up, and it really is. The unboxing was straightforward, the packaging was solid, and there was just a few screws to take out before I could get started. I was surprised at how small and lightweight the printer is. Definitely smaller than a mini fridge you would get in a college dorm room which is great since I'm moving next year. The only awkward part is that it doesn't have handles, so I have to lift it from the bottom, but once it's in place, it feels very sturdy. Setting up the AMS units was easy too. You just plug in some cables, pop in a filament spool, and feed the filament through the tubing to the nozzle. I was a bit confused at first, but it turned out to be really straightforward. Once you jam the filament in, the AMS units take care of everything else, including changing colors during printing. So it's really cool. Once everything was set up, the printer did a quick calibration all on its own, which is nice. I chose to print the famous Benji to test the quality compared to what I've seen online. It took about 12 minutes. I have two worries while it was printing. First, I was worried that the noise level. Spec said that it's at around 80 decibel, but honestly, it was much quieter than my washing machine. It's more close to my PC when I'm gaming. My second concern was the smell of the burning plastic. I read it can be pretty bad, but while I did smell plastic, it wasn't as awful as I expected. It reminded me a lot more of the plastic packaging you get at a clinic, which is great because I was expecting the smell of a burning rubber tire. I have to say, I'm really happy with the print quality, and it's made me feel much more confident about 3D printing. I can't wait to learn everything from modeling in Blender to slicing in Bamboo Lab. I'm also excited to explore different techniques for creating larger pieces, such as uh, techniques for jointing the pieces. This is gonna be a fun journey as I work on my own Elden Ring Tree Sentinel Armor cosplay. 
Feel free to tag along on this adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along. And I can't wait to see you in the next videos.